want you to hear the bums talk. They do nothing in the community. They get except get sucked by their leader that don't even have an address or way to reach them that tell them send blank money. They order them with their members to send them blank money orders because they don't have no bank account. They don't want the, the money to be traced that their members send. So you have to send a blank money order and their bum leaders fill it out after they get it. They don't have a bank account. They don't have a place. They don't have a building. They don't have no structure, nothing. They just got a bunch of bums that they train to speak against all the other Israelite camps and send him blank money orders. Try and send them money. That's what they're going to tell. I'm not making it up. They're going to tell you send a blank money order or they line up the camp afterwards and shake all the men down one by one and take money from them. If there ever was a black hip Hebrew Israelite cult, it's these bums. Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory. Is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakakadash. It's all praises to the world calls God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name, but only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the whole full like preaching this word in truth and sincerity. I'm Brother Tazabah of the Great Millstone Arizona camp. Lord will with another video to edify. And uh, here you go again. Now, Man, there's actually a scripture I need. I should get one sec. Yeah, this is the spirit that that camp comes in, right? Because why do you care whether or not we got a bank account? First of all, does is that in the scriptures? And we, we, I want to get into that. Is that a judgment in the scriptures that you have a have a bank account on this earth? All right, or was that a parable when you go into the scriptures? That bank account doesn't matter on this earth. What matters is doing what the Lord said. Now this dude's saying it because in his body, he thinks the order is having a, a group bank account and that's only done because they want to have money. Right? They think godliness is gain. But when you don't sit here and set up a bank account as an organization, you know it's not about money because obviously you could make more money if it was an organization. Now, the reason why I said he coming out of like uh, Judas is this scripture right here. It says uh, John 12 and 3. It says, then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, um, very costly, and anointed the feet of Yahweh and, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Then said one of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, uh, which should betray him, why was not the ointment sold for 300 penny, pennance, or 300 pence and given to the poor? Then it says this he said, not that he cared for the poor. He really don't care that we got a bank account or not. He's not doing this because he really thinks that us having not a bank account uh, uh, affects the ministry, the doctrine. All right? Because if we're self, like he said, we don't have a, he tries to say we don't have bank accounts. How the fuck you know we don't have bank accounts? No, we don't have an organization set up for money and gain like y'all. But you didn't say those things because it was sincere, like you thought something was wicked going on. You said those things because you wanted to diminish what we had going on. Because y'all getting all these questions from your congregation on the correct breakdown of scriptures. Right? So eyes are on you. So you try to do a smear campaign, sensational lies, and a, a stupid ass argument where the simple would believe, like, yeah, that's weird. No, we don't need no no big ass bank account for you to shuffle money into. We can fund our own self. Brothers go to work, right? Brothers sweat their asses off, doing whatever jobs they have, go through whatever stress comes along with it, and we fund ourselves. And if somebody else comes around, and they they recognize the spirit of the Lord on us, and they want to give. Cool, give. If you don't, okay, we still gonna give out the word. It says this, he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, and had the bag, and bear what was uh, put in therein. And this is what he's saying. He's doing all this not because he cared for for the poor, not because he cared about uh, the men that are 
uh, or or tithing. He's he's saying all these things, right? Because he they already took the bag for them. Why ain't y'all take it? For them, well, we did it. Why aren't you doing it? It's legitimate. It's money to be made. Y'all already got what was in that bag. That's why you're bringing it up, ASAP. Right? Proverbs 31. And I don't give a fuck how long you've been in the truth, man. How long you know you're Israelite. This, this, this. Oh, you've been doing a lot of stuff for a good amount of time. And and, and now y'all y'all not even saying shit. So when it comes to us, you got something to say. But let let you let y'all go on Esau's networks, and they ask you, "Do you hate Esau Edomites?" And they say, "I don't hate white people. God hates white people. No, we hate Esau." If they ask us if we hate white people, I'm gonna say, "I hate Edomites," just like in the scriptures, All right? Proverbs thirty-one and nine. And it says, open thy mouth, uh, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Now, if you were opening your mouth to judge righteously, why the hell are you judging off of, uh, us off of something? That's not to get the scriptures. The scriptures don't say you have to have a bank account in this world. Right? It don't say it. It has nothing to do with it. Now, is it wise to have a bank account? Yeah, and brothers have bank accounts. How we bums, but somehow we have money that's in... Uh, money orders and cashier checks. How the hell are we bums, but we have the ability to do that? Cessationalized arguments. When you judge, you're supposed to judge righteous judgment. What is the righteous judgment you're supposed to be judging? What's written in the scriptures? Show me where it's a sin for you not have to have a bank account, but you use that as a catalyst to try to uh, besmirch brothers' names, act like we less than, less than none, less than you. But here it is: all this work, all this prophecy is coming out through the men of Great Millstone. You, 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 hey, Deacon Asaph, you a hoe? I'm gonna just say how it is: you a hoe? You acting like a whole nigga? This is John seven and twenty four. It says, "Judge not according to the appearance." What is he doing? He's doing something outward to judge us. They don't have a bank account. It says, but judge righteous judgment, right? There's a righteousness in faith and there's a righteousness that is in the law. And neither one of them are you using to judge us in this matter, right? You don't know who the fuck you talking to. Acting like brothers ain't got bank account. I guarantee you I do. I guarantee you almost all, all the brothers, not even almost, all the brothers in my camp do. And apostles do. How the hell do you think they get credit cards? There's Romans 14. Uh, uh, is it 14 or 4? Yeah, here it is. Romans 14. And 4, it says, Who art thou that judges another man's servant? All right? You judging us on what? Worldly shit. A bank account. And the fact that we give tithes in the way that we do it. it. Says, who are thou that judges another man's servant? See, we're not your servants. It says, to his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holding up. For the most high is able to make him stand. See, it's, it's, it's according to the Lord whether or not we stand or fall. But you're judging us on things that have nothing to do with pushing the word. Saying the right things in the spirit. This is Timothy 3. But you didn't have nothing to say to Bishop Nate when he told people it was okay to get the juicy juice. This is 2 Timothy 3. And 16 it says. It says, all scripture is given by the inspir inspiration of the Most High and is prof profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Now, where in the scriptures does it say that you wicked and you ain't on point because you don't have a bank account? You can go through the scriptures and see 
Now there's one instance where the scripture where the Lord said you should have went to the to the uh, put my money in the, in the, in the bank and then I could receive mine with usury. But that is talking about a spiritual matter. That's talking about what doing the work that the Lord said, pushing out the word. But here it is. These dudes make you an offender for every goddamn thing. It says all scripture is given by the expiration of the most high. It is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness that a man may be made, uh, that a man of the most high may be perfect, thoroughly finished unto all good works, thoroughly finished unto all good works. Now show me in a law where having a bank account is necessary to where you can try to paint a whole group of men to be wicked. You can't. Because now you're just judging out of your own heart what the Lord said. You're supposed to put out his judgments. But we see it's just getting worse and worse. So you have to send a blank and money. And bubble-eyed nigga himself ASAP running his mouth acting like we bumps. We bumps, nigga. Because you think we don't, because we don't have, because you supposedly think we don't have bank accounts, we bums. You're a hoe. Right? Shut up, one.